everybody, Wood Spoonie here and Meat Bone here. Welcome back to another NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. This time, we're sending you down to the Western Conference as the next matchup is the Funders versus the Pelicans. And just as the moment now, the Funders are on a great start. They have a 2 lead over the New Orleans Pelicans. But now, here's the question. Can the Pelicans answer back in Game 3? There might be one way that they can definitely try to set it all with the attackers, and they can definitely do what they've got. Here's how they did with the other rest of the games. They've done so many of them. Thanks to Jay, your Gordon Alexander. He's been a good, fantastic player of the year. Well, for the rest of the season, it might be what you call for. We'll have to find out if they can get another one in. And right there and there, my next commentary groups I have along with me is Boomer, and he's also along with the uh, other uh, commentators with Fan. And finally, the third commentary, all sides for one, it's Ultra Beast. Next on the sideline, I will have a report of Ali LaForce. She will be on the sideline right now on the other side of the game to get ready for the next matchup. And probably David Aldrich for sure, we don't know. But here's the next one here. Thanks for the corrections. We'll find out what goes in. Show you going to Alexander's on CJ McCullough. Tara Jones with Josh Giddy. Luton Storm with Jalen Williams. And it's Chef Hogan in the center. Then Brian Ingram in the center at small forward in position. With Zion Williams in. And Brian Junis is in the center. Let's send you down to Smoothie Kane Center for the start of the presentation of the NBA Playoffs. We'll be back with the post game show. Where to this? See you later, everybody. Enjoy the next game. This starting lineup is for the MPC Funders. A small forward. Look at the boards. Three guard. Josh Skitty. At the other forward, forward position, Jillian Williams. That's it. Home break. And it's starting in wing guard position. Shady is working on Alexander. And coach three of his defenders. Mark Dunkelt. Let's make some noise for the Pelicans. Six picks, number five, Robert Jones. At center, it's 11, number 17, Jonas Valanciunas. At guard, 6 three, number three, C. At Ford, six plate, number fourteen, Brandon Ingram. And in point four position, six seven, number one. for the New Orleans Pelicans, Willie Green. Make some noise for New Orleans Pelicans! Hey everybody, it's Boomo, and it's that time for another NBA Playoffs. I'm here along with my broadcasting partner, Whit Fan, and on the other side, we have his Ultra Beats. This matchup is going to be insane, and reporter from in between, I will force Sir David Aldridge lead up to cover. It's going to be a great matchup right in between of those two. As with P4 positions are CJ McCollum and Gilberius Alexander in playing go. I'm really excited to see what's going on. This might be really a great game, but you may never know. It's going to be a hard one to take, but we're hoping to have enough to have a cover. And the win puts in for the OKC Funders. 
we start things off all fueled and ready to go. As Gordon Salisandro starts things off on Ingram. Vance Williams on Zion Williamson. Homegrown is with John Salajunas. Over Jones on Josh Giddy and Brandon Ingram. He's with the other side with Lucian Stork. Stork for two. The foul. Oh man, that is going to be a huge false start on the New Orleans Pelicans. Yeah, I think there's a problem right now because that's Brandon Ingram. He has that fault. Watch what happened. He took that hand right away, and then when he tried to take that shot, he just tried to make that one in there. That is off the way, but that's going to be a hard one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely have that call right away. I mean, that's going to be like a first foul. Disappointing effort for the New Orleans Pelicans for tonight. First free throw coming up here for a Luchin Stork. Stop the clock with under eight minutes to go for the start of it, with only 19 seconds to play in the first quarter of the game. Lucian Stork hits the first free throw. Now, I know that's a playable tough challenge, but Willie Green was trying to answer it up with an overturned call. He just really had to make sure that when he was going to get right into it. But his foul has been technician. It's not going to turn out really well because of Lujan Stewart does. He just really had that one. He got it covered. But the Canadian player doesn't really have a lot of skill to take. Let's find out if he does more on his player routine effort. He hits the second free throw. Oh, going to be a hard one to take here for our developments, but it's not going to be easy for tonight. But the Mandalay don't take it over. Now, McCollum will have it over. Slam it up down. This one starts off with the first throwdown for the New Orleans Pelicans in game three. Oh, that is a great look at the throwdown position. I was really seeing that that was going to be like a hard takeover. Now, the Burdick Salas ever finds store. Finds a pass again to Lady Gordon Salazar. Now move the ball over again to Josh Giddy. Giddy gives it again to Dort. Dort on the drive, and that one will take it in. That's the second bucket in the game in game three. Now here's CJ McCullough. He will have his time right now. He will take it over again to Valentunas. Jones on Giddy. The screen puts it up. Inside his own. Launching is for two. And he takes it in there. That will be the second first bucket of appearance in game three. This one's going to keep on hard now because Luke Turner's not He's really all over it right now. But let him keep a handle if he goes in there, too. The three for Dork. He will stir things up here. And this will be the first three pointer every night. Always going to leave an open mark if you're going to keep that eye straight. CJ McCollum. Over by Valjunas, and there's a foul called on Holmgren. That'll be their first personal foul, first team foul, as Valjunas will have the free throw line shooting too. Well, you look at that play over here, you get a good cut and bound. You got to get that one with the layup, but that was no option. He messed that one up, and that's Holmgren. He had that first foul earlier. Yeah, the range is not going to be able to get there, but let's try to watch out for, for one of the players in between. The offense is not going to let him keep it going if they have a good open range. First free throw sends in for all units. Well, as we're playing with the part of the game here at the 2019 trade deadline, he was traded here to the Memphis Grizzlies after playing with the fifth overall pick in the 2011 NBA Draft. That was with Toronto Raptors, but his professional wasn't even contracted until then. He made some a lot of new changes. This was better a technique of him because he's been really trying to keep that one off for sure. It's not when he just keeps on coming, but hope that one takes it all. Yeah, it's just how hard it is now. I mean, Lujan Stewart saw that Joe and Colin Jr. had that one to come in. I mean, he's got to go call for backup immediately. Now the pass finds again to Josh Kitty in six minutes going by in the first quarter. Here's another three for Dort. Three pointer can't hit the mark. Jones with his first rebound now finding McCullough. Watching the baseline in between on Shaggy Gordon Alexander with the finish drive. It's good. He takes a lead up by one. That's got a good takeover at CJ McCullough. Really does it all. After playing with the Portland Trail Blazers, he really have to be here with his new team. Now Williams is on here on the outside. He now finds it swing fast. Now finally he gets the door. Door. Finish it off the drive. He makes it in. Lujan Storch makes it in. He has nine points in the game. 
Five ready to go in the first period quarter. It's a 9-8 lead. Back-to-back -back switches in between. The third seed, second, third seed versus the sixth seed. But it's not easy enough until you get it done. Now McCollum is on the Bridge Alexander. And there's a foul. Offensive puts up on Williams here. That'll be his first foul. Changes over to OKC ball. And that's the problem no one likes. Because that changing screen, that's illegal. Nobody likes that ball. Now the Gordy Alexander finds Giddy with 5-10 to go. Giddy now finds it again. He looks it over to Dork. Dork gets a swing over again, not finding Giddy. Giddy gives it back to Shea Gordy Alexander. Great ball movement for the Funders. Dylan Williams with two. Offensive rebound. And they were going to have to call a jump ball in between the McCollum and the Gordix Alexander. Jump ball. Once the players are in, it comes in for the jump ball. Ready to have a possession. And OKC will keep their possession alive. The Gordix Alexander up for two. And he's knocking it in there. That's another two pointer. First one goes in in game three as the Gordix Alexander with his first two bucket point. And Williamson. Oh! Man, that was how you dunk it. Nothing what you really want because Zion Williamson, what a pow moment. I don't know how you could definitely do that, but that's just crazy. Yeah, I know. How amazing is that? And that was an excellent performance one for Zion Williamson from AT&T, the 5G slam kick. The bounce pass now gives off the home grid. And Gordon Alexander decides to take the screen. Don Junis on it. Holmgren is again trying to shoot over Valentunas, and it's good. Jacob Gordon Alexander with his second bucket. The player's not doing off really well. Valentunas was trying to reject it, but that to Gordon Alexander, he made that one easier. Top range, you know, not going to happen. Oh, Holmgren knocks that one, taking the drive away from him, and he says, Nope, it's mine now. Oh, that is like a takeover. What are you going to do with that, old girl? <laughs> Boy, that's the biggest one. I love that rejection moment. Wow. And Williams will take it in. That's what you know for. They go to South San Diego, got a good pass off. And that's now a five-point lead game with 3.30. First time I'll call when you're running Pelicans with only 3.32 to go. He decided to talk things over right now as we have an upcoming game with you for tomorrow's game. This time, it's not for all four games, but it's only two games, as we have a double better for you. If you're waiting on game five, we are just about to change things up. First, game four, start things off here in Eastern Conference, as we have that one with the first matchup in between of the Sixers versus Celtics. That coverage will be starting here at 1.30 p.m. And then, the next game in the Western Conference will be at 5.30 p.m. That will be on the other side of it as we will have another look in between of the Mavericks versus the Clippers. And then we get to the NHL playoff of the Stanley Cup as we got your next game coming underway as the Garden. Right now as the Bruins already won, we go back to New York as the New York Rangers take on against the Tampa Bay Bolts at Madison Square Garden in New York at 7 p.m. And then finally the last game that we have at night is at 10 p.m. As of right now, we have the Canucks, and they are facing against the LA Kings back at Rogers Arena. Don't miss these other games, as we have you covered and along the way. That will be happening here, only on Son of Beast. Then following along with the next game, we've got the Golden Knights, as right now, they'll be back at Edmonton, in Canada, as the Oilers face against the, against the Vegas Golden Knights. And then following along with the next game, we have another one coming in for you for the NHL as the Panthers take on the Toronto Maple Leafs at Amaranth Arena. A rejection made here by Watts. Williams, excuse me. And then back to the other game, we have the other side. We've got a great matches between the Nuggets and the Warriors here at Chase Center at 10.30 p.m. And then following along here, we have the Bucks and the Heat at the Kaseya Center. Now happening again, here's Gilbert Alexander with the drive, and he makes it in. That's six buckets for J.D. Gordix Alexander. That bucket trash going to be turning in. It's impossible. With the new line group substitution, here's Alvarado. Zeller takes a screen. Lost his hand. Zeller up. Fades it. Up with a shot. It's no good. Never missed by New Orleans. Gordix Alexander now finds two up. 
Let's get to Williams. Up at the shot. Oh, that one's going to be a tough shot in there. But Williams got it covered. You know, you can see what happened here. He didn't want to take a lot of it too hard at the same time. Like, that was trying kind of tricky. He got there in no time. Daniels finds Zeller. Zeller. Try to watch the screen in. Five to shoot. Daniels for two. And that shot can't go in. Josh Giddy, he's got his first rebound of the night. Now finds the Williams Alexander. For the two, no problem here. He has eight points, and Giddy with the assist. Now, that's when you take it over, because Josh Giddy was taking a lot of his effort. The thing of routine of his offense is not going to take a lot of him, but he's got to make sure he gets it done. Timeout call by the New Orleans Pelicans with two minutes to go in the first quarter. And if you're all waiting on for a new episode to the end, Insanity Season 2 is back. And we are ready to have you up here for another new day for a new episode with the final four contestants. It's going to be great right now, so you don't want to miss that one out. It's going to be on the other side. Yeah, I definitely would love to see that one coming in. Plus, if you have some tickets here already, we hope you will be there because this is never going to be a missed opportunity range. To get yourself a taco plushie and an evil leafy plushie on the other side. Plus, if you haven't just watched it in between right now, if you have the VIP tickets, thank you so much for your time. It's already sold out, and general tickets are already sold out. So, enjoy your day, enjoy your day here at the at the BFDI and Insanity Tour. That's going to be every other day. So the first three will be a new episode of the TPOT of the BFDI, and then the back half of the three, the wrap things up, will be the BFDI A12 on the other side. Catch all you around here by watching here on Jack Agility and an Animation Epic by subscribing to their channels. New substitutions are on the court right now. That's some new changes here on the court. And right now, as of Ingram and Murphy are checked out, checking back in will be another dead change as Lance Jr. moves over. And here's Alvarado. He's on the Gordix Alexander. Tight D here. For the two, Alvarado misses the two pointer. That shot, never gonna let that one handle. Giddy finds a pass to Williams and the try puts in Uwe Zeller. Great pass for Josh Giddy as he has his second assist. Now, here's Daniels. He finds a pass again to Nance Jr. Over with the layup. Tries to get it back. Now it's over to get to Alvarado on Joe Lyrics Alexander. He gets again to Daniels. Six on the shot clock. Backs it up. Murphy for three, and he takes it in. That will start with a three-pointer range. It's a 23-13 game. Just gonna keep that an eye on that. You know, Murphy's all the way in the corner. Gotta make sure you get that when you're close by if you can. Now he finds a pass to door, and now with under a minute, it's a 23-13 game. Here's he. Liddy slides it back, now finds door. Door for the two, and he will take it in there. Door has his 11 points in the game. 25-13 game. They're up by 12. Now Ziller will have the ball. Brings it again back to Daniels. Looks it over, and Daniels makes a slam down. The Gordon's Alexander finds Giddy. 30 seconds left to remain in the first quarter. The Gordon's Alexander now finds Williams. Williams gives a pass to Dort. Dort. Looks it over, now finally again to Gordix Alexander. Five to shoot, three for Williams, and he will have it off the ring. Oh, that's a close ring. It's almost going to have to be a great three-pointer to take. Here's Alvarado with ten seconds left in the first quarter. Got to get some time in there. Alvarado with the three, and that's off the ring. And it's the first quarter. OKC leads by 10 with a 25-15 score. We'll get to the second quarter when we come back after the break. You're watching the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports. For those of you just tuning in, we're welcoming you back here at Smoothie King Center as we're about to get settled in for the second quarter. Off the start is CJ McDonald. He's covered here on Ben Wallace. Ben Valanciunas is with Holmgren. Hayward, he's with Fun Brandon Hayward. Then we have is Joe. He's with Fun. He's with Joe. Jones. 
and finally on the, on the last ring, the outside of a range, we have you all covered in now as we are looking to see if we can get a close game. Great buckets in between for the, for the stock or out of the second quarter. We're going to make sure they get this one timing right. Aroy finds it pass again to Joe. Joe moves again to Williams. For the three, over Williamson, it's good. He makes it outside of the range. It's now a 28-17 game, up by 11. Oh, really having to like a hard one. They're taking this over. We never gonna let that one try to settle down on that much. Jones finds it past to Williamson. Cuts him down. For the three, no good. He makes another two point, miss the bucket. Now on great, gets against the Wallace. Was gets again to Williams. Williams tries to put it back step. Now we'll have it again to Joe. We'll have to try to make some new changes in between. Finds a pass. Looks over to Williams and he's fouled. Junior is fouled. Junior calls his first personal and her first team foul falls on New Orleans. Well, that pass is going to be easy enough for now because from Jimmy Williamson, after you see the pass, guess what happened? That one is caught by the arm of it and that wrist, that is a good call. That referee was putting up a lot of signals in between. They're never going to let that one like it and they're never going to love that one call. Fouls called on Jonas Malachunas and it's now Williams at the free throw line shooting too. He makes a free throw. We'll be called right now here as Lucian Jorts. He's definitely one of the better of a Canadian professional basketball player. Played for the college basketball with the Arizona State Sun Devils. And his better on better technician after playing his high school in Mono, Ontario, Canada. And his five-star recruit was one of the top high school players in the game in Canada. Well, you always know this. Every play in this one turned to be like a top five Canadian best players in between. He got a great range in between right now before he went to America. Guess that point is never gonna let that last long. You may never know what can get there that far. Here's McCollum with a drive. Solid D by Wallace as Joe will take his own rebound. Yeah, that's a solid one. I know what's gonna happen with most of the time, but don't let that one get on four. Joe gets again to Hayward with 6-12 to go. Now the pass finds Wallace. Wallace for two, and two puts it up in for Wallace. That's his first bucket of the game. 31-17 to score with six minutes going by. CJ McCollum up to drive it. Solid performance effort for Holmgren. Holmgren now finds it again to Williams. Williams with the number two, and that's good. Jalen Williams with 10 points. Trying to shush the crowd here in New Orleans. Mm-hmm, nobody likes that. Time off ball by New Orleans Pelicans with 5.39 to go in the first half of the game. Yeah, everybody's having a hard time right now. They, they really don't want that. You get defended in a way. It's going to be like a hard one. Nobody likes. As we're ready to wrap things up here for the first part of the game in game three, we've got our next game covered up here as the Nuggets will take on against the Warriors at Chase Center. Standing by will be Center Peace along with the other two as we've got a lot of range and coming about me as we've got our great matchups to take, along with DJ Beast and, of course, the third commentary of the crew, all stands for now, is Silver Spoon. That will be our next coverage here for the game here. It will be coming up at 10 p.m. at Chase Center. And that will be, that will be the coverage on ARSI, only on Sunday Beast, tuning us in. And speaking of which right now, this one is not always the day what you always see with the OKC funders at night. They relocated here from Seattle Supersonics, from Washington State in Seattle, before their relocation here comes to an end of the end of the rival days here against the Portland Journal Blazers. It is nothing but they were really expecting to see what happens, but this always turned to be the end of the year. Well, definitely what happened now. They, they don't really have been understanding it for so long. But other reasons, uh, they don't really want to come back here anymore because they've been relocated with a new expansion plan, and this one has to be the end of the year. For now. Here's Williamson. Excellent try, mate. 33 to 19 to school with 5 3 to go. Now, Wallace will have it over again to Hayward. Hayward. 
Try roll back now by Williams. Looking for a cut. Give off to Wood Wallace for the two. And this one rolls in and out. Brandon Ingram on the other side. Try to look for his open teammate looking to get to Jones. Joe on him now. Defense to try. Tough shot made as Herbert Jones takes it in. Gordon Award, no score this game, only have the first assist, now finds Wiggins. And Wayward will have to try to fix things up a bit. And now here's Joe, takes for three, and it's good on the outside as Hayward's got his second assist of the night. Just gotta keep on coming out because Gordon Hayward, he's had a good open look. The fade up is never gonna let that one last long if he does it for real. CJ McCollum spins move over Holmgren. That one takes it away as Holmgren with another rebound. And Valanciunas with a steal. Foul, and it's off the rim, and it's foul called on Watts. Valanciunas back in the free throw line, shooting two. We're back right near the way. It's the first free throw. New line of change is right now a couple players are checking off the court. McCollum and Williamson are checked out. Checking back in will be Marshall and Hawkins. Good for the second. 418 left to go in the first half as Wallace will have it. 36 to 23 to score. Looks again to Wiggins. Now Wiggins trying to give it up again, not finding Wallace. Wallace trying to put a step in bound for two, and it's good. Wallace with four points. So with only four minutes, and Joe with the assists. Well, it's a great communication right now. There's a, it's a lot of great ball movement here. Got to keep on moving it down if they have it. Jones. And their offensive foul is called on Velochunas. That's another one turned over for the New Orleans Pelicans. Uh-oh. Bad one take. That's a bad look on the screen. You're never going to like that call. That is going to be a hard for a way to get this done. And now here's Holmgren. A sidestep. Oh, what a finish drive in. Holmgren with his first bucket. Wallace. And Wallace had that first assist coming in by. Well, he's quiet now. He's definitely getting the bucket in now. What a take. Here's Ingram on the throw down, and he takes it down. A high flyer now with the 40-25 game. Hayward now finds it over to get the home grade. Looks again on a shot, takes it in, and Joe will have it. Five points this game. And another one puts up our home grip. Nearing down the end of the mark of the first half of the game. Ingram over with the shot. That's missed again. That's Holmgren will have it. Holmgren finds the pass to Wallace. He goes with the drive. Oh, the arc puts it in. That throwdown puts it for Wallace as Holmgren adds a number of six. Oh, the quiet one. We're going to like that call already, but they're really like, they're all silent right now. I mean, how can the OKC Thunders get good at this point? They want their wins. I mean, they want the back to force into game four and then game five. That's no way. And Wallace says it again. Eight points in this game. And another one puts up for 46-25. They lead by 11. Excuse me, 21 for sure. Now Hawkins. Side set. Three-pointer. And this is again. Another rebound puts in for Joe. And he has his third rebound of the night. We're down to two minutes remaining right now as we have the halftime show coming up. We've got Shag O'Neal along with Kenny Smith and Ernie Johnson for the halftime show report. As for the first half, starts things off in between of the Pelicans and Verde Funders. But we'll decide to talk things over and we'll find out what they can get. That's coming up after the first half. Mm -hmm. 
Wiggins with his first bucket and now Ingram with the ball. Well, that's Wiggins when he starts. I mean, he's really like into a full pursuit. Not sure in there can get there through. Never missed by New Orleans Pelicans. Wallace got his first rebound of the night. Now we'll have it again over to Ogrid. Owen gets it again. It's a gay word. Side steps in. Bounce passes to Wallace. Wallace trying to answer it out. Now finds Wiggins. Wiggins. Side step for the two. Another miss by the OKC Thunders. And here comes a one on one fast break. And no shot made. Just the time comes down to one minute. Reported from Ali LaForce. And so all the, all the OKC Thunders have been playing it for a real. The better our technique, the better offense they've got cover. Yeah, it's definitely not what they always do, but they got to make sure they have it all covered in there, and that's what they do. They get it done the best. Holmgren for the two, and he puts it in. That's another one for Holmgren, as he has the second bucket. 40 seconds to go in the first half of the game. Now we will find Valanciunas. Herbert Hawkins on Valanciunas, and now back to Ingram. Back to Valanciunas. Side steps in the two. Solid performance, so we'll get it back. And he misses again. Those guys are not happy at all, as Willie Green would have called that one a foul. Well, it's too late already. They, they never liked that call. They really just hated it. Wallace now finds Hayward. Side step for the two. Tries it, makes it in. Hayward's got his first bucket in the game to end the first half, 52-25. Last take here for Ingram. Spins it up, and up, and misses again. That ends the first half, 52-25 to score. We'll take a quick break here, and we'll get back into the action. Don't go anywhere. More games underway. Halftime shows next. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us if you get it. Bernie Johnson, Kenny Jet Smith. Shaquille O'Neal, if you're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Oklahoma City has the edge here at halftime. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, how'd you see it? They scored very effectively. With the exception of ball movement and play calling, they were able to exploit multiple weaknesses in the defense. They got to feel good about themselves, running out to a huge. And over the big summer, there were thoughts on the Pelicans. They've been struggling to get shots in general, but down low, they've been paper soft, hate to say it. Given a way to move, they can't protect the rim more effectively in the second half. It's going to be a long ride right home. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And for those of you joining us here, we welcome you back at Smoothie King Center. As a great matchup starts things off here, it's all for Luchin Store, who has been playing a couple of part of the games here, a couple of points in the matchup. You know, everyone's been talking about Luchin Store. I know he's like a fan favorite, but don't let him get away with that if you know how to deal with him. We start things off here for the second half of the period as we're all fueled and good to go. T.J. McCollum's with your Gloria Alexander. Ingram is on door. Van is home great on Valentunas. Van on the other side is Josh Giddy. He's with Herbert Jones. And finally, we have it across here. Lujan Stewart on the air player again. And, he, and Giddy on Williamson. And finally, it's Dort with Ingram. Here's a number take here for H.G. Lewis Alexander and Williams. He's with on Herbert Jones. Murphy on him. For the two. Slide in, no good for the two. Here's McCollum. He tries to find it. Williamson up with the dunk. Oh, wow. What a takedown. Better up for the ass, but that's no question that you can't take him out with the rejection of the shot. Now here's Hayward. He was with on right now with Williams. Williams tried to give it back over again to Gilbertus Alexander. Tries to give it over again, now finding again to Giddy. Giddy brings it back, door for three, and he takes it in. Traps and triple mage as Stuart has 14 points. Now that's what I always say in Lujan Stuart. He's been on smoke after this sometimes. I know he's been like dipping it up, but don't let him get fooled if you know he can. McCollum on the Gordon Alexander. 
for Scream on the Judas. Watching in for two, and it's good. CJ McCollum with a number two point bucket score. Josh getting with the ball with under 6.30 to go, and he now gives it again to Dort. Dort tries to roll it over, now finding Williams. Williams tries to give it again to Giddy. Giddy moves back to Dvorak's Alexander. Slides it. Three for Giddy. Deep three range, no good. McCullough with the rebound. Now back the airway, trying to look for some other open offensive players in the game. Looks over to Williamson. They return it now with the layup, and it's good. Well, Zion Williamson with another two point bucket score. Now 55, 31 to go. If Burdick's Alexander tries it again, now finally get to Giddy. Giddy tries to roll it over. He works for three, and he takes it all. That's another two point bucket score. And it goes to Dort with the assist. You can't let Dort do it over again because he's been passing it way quickly, but you know. That's why all the timing does. It's a lot of hard one to make the crowd out of him. Don't choose with the ball. Off to slam it, and he does. Don't choose has a lot of fair downs in between for the New Orleans Pelicans. They're soaring high and big. Yeah, they do. I know they're having a lot, a lot of hard time right now, but they're having a lot of fun. Just throwing in for some fine flying action here. Now he's an over for Giddy. Tries to give it over on a slam down. Oh! That turns it over now. And he's putting it back the arrow away for an over two. Now that's when you don't mess things up. How can you know that Jay Gordon Alexander got it all down? He made that one pretty easy, just to make a tough one right. The NBA playoffs in 2K Sports is brought to you by American Express. Don't live life without it. Your local Kia dealers. A moment that inspires. And by Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. Attention to all everyone, our viewers who are watching us. We have a new season that is underway right now, and this will be season nine of the NBA on 2K Sports. That will be 2K25. The next one that will be the next on the tape is this will now be a chance, and that's right. It's now your turn to make a selection. Who do you want to pick? The voting will open right now with a, just a, with another look. That will be on July 25th. That will be a new part of the votes. The cast yours now and find out which team we can face against. No matter which one in between, Eastern Conference or Western Conference. And the same thing going with the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs as the other side will be NHL 25 on the other side. So, there's a lot of time to choose. Voting opens on July 25th, and for the NHL, July 24th, I'll be underway here on the other side to catch things along the board to see which team you want to go for. Williams now finds a pass to Giddy. Giddy is again, now finding it again over Joe Williams. Four three left to go, and now he has it over again. Giddy tries again for number three. That's nowhere luck. He's losing his free corner patiently. Header target on his angle is not going to be turning like very good. He's having a hard time. Don't let him get away with that. But the our rebound, here's Williams. Williams finds the pass. Good boy, he's on the up. Oh, what a cut in. And he makes a drive that easy. A 14-point game, and it's now a 61-35 game. Hey, listen, there is no excuse they could try to exit their game. No matter what they do, they don't let that one leave them alone. Can't let that happen to try to like, go with some other shots ability. They don't want that one to get right between. Williams now finds the pass to Giddy. Looks again. Gorgeous Alexander with the two. And it's good. A number two pointer for Gorgeous Alexander. Got 16 points in the game. Now, here's McCullough. Finds the pass to Larry Nance Jr. And there's an offensive foul that calls on TJ McCullough in his first personal foul. And they're on quiet right now with another turnover for the New Orleans Pelicans. Yeah, it's just not really turning out good. Because no one likes that, they are really having a hard time. 
Two players check in as Alvarado, and to the other side will be Cody Zola. Checking in for two players on the court. Getting. Tries to look it again to Dorn. Dorn finds again in the Burnix Alexander. With a drive, and he's fouled. Alvarado with his first personal. The Burnix Alexander trying to get another two player attacker and get right on the board with the extension. The, the catch phrase is not always that easy when you don't say the Burnix Alexander is not supposed to get. When he does his right timing to get right into the layup drive, that is causing a major foul. That's a hard one for Alvarado, but he has been never trained in each games. He makes the first free throw. Talk about him for Shea Gordix Alexander. I mean, I have a lot of great feelings for him. It's just not comfortable when you do. So a lot of hard techniques, it's just not going to be comfortable in there to try to like keep on going. But let's make it quick and make it faster if he does more. He hits the second free throw. He has 18 points, gain, you get 20. Alvarado with the ball, now finds again a man shooter. Finds a pass to Alvarado. It's a solid performance effort for the OKC Funders. Williams. Lisa Gill, now finding Giddy. Giddy. Tries to look over again, now trying to look for an open room. Now finds the pass. Door for two, and it's good. Door is in our one, and he has 16 points for about three minutes. That's what you always need to call for. Better offensive technique is not really turning to be great, but you know, this offense keeps them strong, the hard pace, it doesn't happen to be one of them, but they can. New singles. Screen on Zola. And he makes a throw down. No one takes it in for the Pelicans. They're on a hard timing. That throw down's gonna take a lot of effort. Do some a lot of chances. Make it quick. Make it easy if you can. Here's another one for Williams. Williams trying to make the pass. For the three. Giddy misses again. And it's another three-point opportunity missed for the OKC Thunders. And Alvarado up. He finally has a bucket. Jose Alvarado's got his first bucket in appearance against the OKC Thunders. Well, it's just way that long. I mean, no one wants to know that. They've definitely got it all coming. Now he's looking for Jordan. Now he finds again to get it. Then he has to go for it, and there's a three-second call. That goes with the OKC Thunders, and now it changes over to Pelicans' ball. Three players are off the court. Three players off the court. Williams is checked out. Pelicans are also making new changes here. Nance Jr. and Daniels are checked out. As now Marshall and Hawkins are checked in. Here's Hawkins. Looking for a cut. Solid for a performance here for Homebrew. Homebrew's got a stiff rebound now with under 90 seconds. Wallace. Looks again. Now finding the Gordix Alexander. Tries to look for a cut, and he does it again. The Gordix Alexander with 20 points for the season so far in the playoff mode against the Pelicans at New Orleans. Now, here's Hawkins. Tries to look back again to Alvarado, and now Marshall again to Hawkins for two. Can't fire it up here, but Seller does it all. He finally gets his bucket down. Oh, the show of play. I mean, I love that one. That's a great curricular motion. And ball slips, and it's Alvarado with the steal. Give the chance. Hawkins for two. Hits the rig. Another rebound for the OKC Thunders, and Holmgren tries to do it again. The finishing drive, and he's fouled. Marshall with his first personal, and his second team foul calls on New Orleans Pelicans with under 40 seconds. Shooting for Oklahoma City, Holmgren taking two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. Holmgren misses the first free throw. Now it's a new substitution for the OKC Funders as Joe will check in for Bill Gordon's Alexander. As we talked about it here before, and there was one of the reasons right now that Indiana Pacers are coming back right now 
just for the real playoffs. He'll be against the Milwaukee Bucks. It's a great wild game to have that. We'll move on to the second round since 2018 was the loss against the ever team of the Cavaliers. Yeah, I know. It's, the wait is over now. But it seems like they're doing a lot of trick already. Two times been upset here. No Damian Lillard and no good Giannis on a combo to Greek freak. It's a hard one. It's really harsh. It hurts our feelings are so bad. And for most importantly, they really want Giannis to be back here. No question whatsoever. It's going to be a hard nightmare for them. Six on the shot clock. Two or three for Williams, and it's off the rim, and he goes back again. Alvarado will try to get the buzz beater. Can he do it? Oh, he just knocked it out of here. No bucket made here for the Pelicans. That was Wallace with the rejection to end it off. Oh, uh, I don't know how you do that. That was like, what is this? That's unbelievable. We've come to the end of the third quarter, and we are on to the fourth quarter. Stay tuned, we got you covered here. On our way next, you're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. All right, let's have a look here for the system of game presented by State Farm. You know, the best definition is, this one turned to me like it's a great player to go with. You all give it up to it? It's great to have that one with this performance effort. Making that one a great drive. I really like it. Better drive doesn't have it all. But let's say this. Let's find out if he does more. We come to the end of the fourth quarter. I hope you're having fun with us and we're ready to have you up for the last part of the game here as the Warriors will take on the Nuggets pretty soon, coming up later. Daniels is with Hawkins, Zeller with Marshall, and Nance Jr. are outside. Wallace is with him. He's also along with Williams. Van for the outside, we have it across to his wings. For the middle, we have it's Joe, and finally it's Williams on the other side. To beat over Zeller, and he makes a shot clock before the bus goes off. Uh, with no shot clock violation to make the time expire, this one will go back over. Now I'm finally getting the edge junior to the Looks it in, stepping across, and he does it. What amazing of Daniel's drive. Oh, that is a perfect execution. Just really never seen that one coming here to make a step by. Now he finds a pass. It's deflected. Last touch calls on the Hawkins as the Thunders will keep their ball alive. Now for a waiter from Hayward, he'll check in for Wiggins with only 706 remaining. Baggy show. Deep the pass with a shot for Williams. Oh, what a tip for Joe. As Williams has his six points in the game, and he has been lighting it out here in New Orleans. Now we'll another chance here, as Joe will have it over in H. Jr. with Williams. Now Daniels is on the outside, Wallace with him now. Looks to go for it, and he makes a scoop in drive successful. It's a 74 48 game. Eight points so far, and now with his mid range is four. That's definitely what I always got to tell you. It's just when you don't take so a lot of time with the scrimmage, it's a lot of hard ones that they're going to take. But hey, let's keep that in fact of it if it goes in a way. Hayward rolls it back again to Williams, and now he finds a Waltz. Waltz for the two. Off the rim again, and no rebound puts in for Nate Shoot. He now has it again to Marshall. Marshall will have to try to make his way down, and Ash Jr. can not a shot here. Williams got the piece of it, and it goes back the airway. Now, you know what the question is for Williams. He never has made a rejection before. He just really wants to show him what he was going to do. But Jalen Williams is just saying that, I just never blocked it before. I want to do this. That's a hard part that you got to do. Don't let him quit here if he doesn't. Morning. And what a try for Hayward. He's doing that one again for all night long. Yeah, definitely on that. Gordon Hayward, a better performance effort. Pelicans are, are out, out the extension trail. Up again, 
and a shot, and he's found. Williams with a foul before the OKC Thunders, and Zeller will have to be at the free throw line shooting two. Uh, Zeller hasn't been here so far. He hasn't been able to pick up his foul, but it seemed like he's now on the free throw line. He's ready for it. Another free throw percentage here coming up for the New Orleans Pelicans with 525 left to go. This is the first free throw. Well, Seller had to make sure he's all concentrated up here. A little cold start doesn't mean he hasn't been practicing with this free throw technician. But he's really been trying to like keep it in there for some reason. Gonna get that when you're done. And he hits the second free throw. 525 left to go as Wallace will have it. He's going to take for Hayward. Hayward gives it again to Wallace. Wallace trying to give it again. Hayward with the bounce pass to Joe, and he's out of bounds. Loses the ball, and it goes back the other way to New Orleans ball. The big problem with that drive is not really what you really mentioned. But that's when Joe has been really trying to, like, watch it for himself without being overtaken. Now he's a look here for Desmond Daniels to have it. Marshall on the outside, finds it again. Ball's almost tipped. Oh, and it's denied. That must have been Joe with the piece, or it's homegrown. Well, I don't know who it is. I think that Joe must have had that rejection in there. Hmm, I don't know. I'm guessing that Homegrown had, had that piece of it right away. It's not, but it's Williams. Joe for three. And he takes it here on the outside. Joe with eight points. Extension now is now a cut digit and an extension lead 30. Hawkins with only 4 30 left to go. And he's over again back to Zell. He's in our own for Daniels. Ball's tip. Last touch here by Gordon Hayward. And we'll keep the Pelicans ball with just only 10 seconds to shoot. Daniels in the corner, cutting in bound for two and good. Daniels with a number two pointer. He's got ten right now in the game. Once in paint was only eight, so he's trying to look for a number digit pointer to get in there. Hayward tries to give off to Wallace. Wallace trying to roll over to get a Joe. Joe makes his way down toward the Hayward. Hayward tries to give it over there. Now finding Wallace. Wallace up for two. Rolls it out. No rebound for here. Now Daniels will have his chance. Looks again to Hawkins, and he makes the finish drive go in. Hawkins with the two pointer. And it's across the dead. Daniels, sorry, Daniels on the other side with his assist. Yeah, I always gotta say Daniels for sure. I mean, I know it's a little confusing, but don't let that one happen by. Three pointer for Hayward. And good range. Another takeover takes over with the three. As Hayward now has seven. He's really on a fly machine already. I mean, just gotta keep that one showing like he does. And with the finish drive, and he puts it up. In he goes, and it's now a 310 left to go. 82 55 to score in the fourth quarter. Hunters are trying to roll out here in game three. And they're trying to look again at finding Carl Williams. Now it finds again to Wallace. Wallace for number two, and he takes another one. That's 10 points for Wallace, up to the extension, 84-55. Now, they're never going to like that one. I don't know what they will do. You know, to make sure they have it all coming. And right, there's another throw down. That must have been Marshall. He's taking it all for everything. Now, hey, Wordy will have it over to game of Williams. And number two puts in for Williams. Extension on the run, 86 to 57. They're already killing it. Yeah, definitely do. They really make sure they had a lot of hard work to repetition out. For themselves, everything's possible. Nobody has that one with the right timing to go for. And Dennis completes the drive for just the second time. And this will be 86 to 59 with 12 points. 
two minutes left to go in the fourth quarter as the time is running out. Now he finds it again to Joe. Joe. Rolls it again. Now find Hayward. Hayward tries to give off to Joe. The layup. It's good. Joe takes it 10 points. And Hayward with the assist. The cutting extension is now 88 to 59. Now here's a take. Two pointer missed again. That's because they don't shoot really well. They have a lot of hard time. They just can't let it, let it go. And you know, nobody likes that. They don't want that one to leave over with an open gap. They can't let that one fall down. Now he's never looking for Wallace, and now with only under 90 seconds to go, five seconds to shoot, three for Hayward. And he dunks it out. Ducks it in there, and he now has 10 points. Beating over Hayward is not always easy when you just try to like let that go. Even fly by, it's just not what you do. Don't let that repetition out to you. Williams, on the edge here. Deeping outside back to the Daniels. With the screen, up at the loop, the drive, and good! That is 14 points for Daniels. Up in a range for number five. Well, it's definitely good, but the sad part of the feeling is that the New Orleans Pelican fans, they are just leaving now. Wallace letting the time go down right now with only 10 seconds. And Joe will close this game here with only the last substitution left. And we'll change it over. Now this will be a new changeover. Now with some last substitution change. For the Pelicans and for the Thunders. Now on the court right now as Williams is checked out. Andrew Wiggins is checked back in. Pelicans are also making new changes right now as Alvarado is checked back in. And Alvarado will close it off and foul. And that will be on Williams. First free throw since eight for Alvarado. Last substitutional change off here. As now he went on arrest of the court. And now let's go back to Williams. And the second one will take it in. And it will let them juice down the clock right now. And this one will be a so long for now, as this one will be the end for the Pelicans and the Funders here in game three. And the last one will be do or die for the Pelicans. Yeah, it's just not always a day. Never let it happen. They can't let it fall down. All day's victory has been falling in. And they will let it live on until for the number one of so Sorkins. And there's so that wraps it up here. It's a 91 63 game. OKC Thunder is up in the Ascension Series 3 0 in the game. This won't be enough to take the courtesy out of them, it will take all of their time. And that about wraps it up, folks. Boomer along with Fan and Ultra Beast. We hope you enjoyed this part of the game, and we've got your last game coming up Warriors and Nuggets at Chase Center. That'll be underway soon at 10 p.m. Keep your eyes on the pride. Thanks for joining us here, and we'll see you all again next time. Boomer out. All right, thank you guys so much. Time for your total statistics. 76 and 54 free pointers and field goals put it up here for the OKC Thunders. 88 free throws for the New Orleans Pelicans that puts the 88 percentage on the board. Six fast break points for OKC Thunders. Ben 46 for the points in paint. Second chance points with seven for New Orleans Heats. 40 and 39 was OKC Thunders with bench points and assists. Seven offensive rebounds here, and it puts the Pelicans up again. 25 defensive rebounds, OKC Thunders. Only two steals for the Pelicans and five blocks. With five turnovers and only 14 fouls was even up. For the OKC Thunders, they only had two of them at least.
eight dunks for four for the Pelicans, and there's only 32, and 17.48 was a time possession for the OKC Funders. It's been a while right now, but now it's time to close things off for your three star players of the game. All right, thank you so much, and now I'll have you over on the other side. All right, thank you, me friend. Now it's time for three star players of the game. Starting off, we go with a good look of in between. Dyson Daniels had only had 14 points. He only had done with this outstanding move with some dunk for two dunks, 19 performance effort, only seven out of nine field goal range, two assists and one rebound. It just happened to be like this, but it's never, but the same thing does happen to be one of them. Now for number two. Lujan Skiro finishes off with 16 points, only two assists, six out of seven field goal range, Two out of three free pointers were absolutely unsigned. Only had 20 performance effort, but that was all that happened. And it keeps on going. You will never get to know how he did that one with his best. And for your number one star, well, say hello, friends. It's because of what they do. You're never going to get it showing what you've got, Mike. It's Shay, the Gordix Alexander, your New Balance player of the game. With 20 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, 9 and a 9 field goal range, he is unstoppable force. He loves to take his assist here, only 24 performance effort, 2 dunks, and it was only just that. He's an unbelievable. Just have to become with a next, le next gen start to level it up. Back to you, Mifo. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, dear Wood Spoonie. Anytime. And for that one being said is, I hope you all enjoy this part. If you're sitting around with the last game, we got the Nuggets vs. the Warriors underway soon. Don't miss that one out. That will be the next one on its way. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports Style. This is me, Phone. We'll see you all for the final game. Adios, amigos. If you don't, if you don't, somebody.